Hi, right, welcome back, it's Johnny Boy. It stopped raining at last. So today, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be tidying this border up. And we've got a bit of a mixed bag here. We've got some bamboo, we've got some New Zealand flex, we've got some euphorbia over there, and we've got some fatinias. This is what the developer would have planted to screen this little bank here against the house. It's a way of getting over. What we have here, all the sleepers have gone, they've all rotten, so we're gonna replace them. But as you can see over here, this formium, this New Zealand flax, is pushing the sleepers over. Okay, so what we have here, we've got this, this plant now, this, this formium, is at, a, at a height that's probably too high. So what we have to do, we're gonna to have to reduce it in height and we have to reduce it in size, okay? As you can see straight away, anything that's brown is obviously dead. This is the flower of the New Zealand flax, so they'll be removed, but we'll be removing these right to the bottom. We'll follow this stem right the way down into the middle of the plant and we will remove it. Right, come here, if you come a bit closer, we can just show our views what we're gonna do. So what we have here, right, is you can see these are the new stems coming up. And look, they're looking fresh, they're looking clean, and we probably wanna reduce this plant to this height here. All too often, you'll see where people start cutting these back, they'll do this. They'll do that. And that's not the way to do it. That's not gonna, that'll just always be like that. This is the effect that you want. And you see how it dissects? And when it dissects, it's going into a new leaf all the way up there and again, you see. So the idea, once we've decided what height we want to come, we want to grow to, okay, that's the height. So what we do, we reduce the height by re removing these higher ones. And what we'll do, we'll follow these again, like I said to you about the flower part. We'll follow these all the way down and we'll cut these out of 45, as low as we can get it, okay? And then you're left with this ultimate height. Okay, before we start reducing to the required height, we want to get the plant reduced in width as well. And what happens, it, it almost starts to regenerate a new plant on the outside. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to remove this clump, for example, this clump, if you come and have a look here now, right the way in, come right the way in now, and you'll be able to see for our viewers, this, this clump is almost like another plant that's grown on the side of it. So we need to remove that. But before we remove that, the most important thing is to re start removing all the dead leaves. Sometimes you'll be able to pull them out. They'll come out, oh, that was great. They come out just like that. And that's very easy. So you just pull those out because this will just basically rot the plant, okay? And you can see, uh, you, when you start removing the dead ones like this, they do remove quite easy. You can pull those out, and if they don't remove like that, you just get right the way in, like this. If you can look right the way in, get the right way in now, and we'll be able to cut those out of 45 in there. But if you look all that, all the dead wood there, that needs to be reduced, so you take that out as well. So just take some of that out. We can cut that off, okay? Because that is no good for the plant, because it's gonna get damp, it's gonna get moldy, and then there's no aeration, and the plant will look its best and possibly die. But you can see how dead it is there. So you take that out, start taking these leaves out here, okay? That's good for the plant, okay? But we're gonna remove this clump as well. Okay, if you look at it, we've, we've basically got two plants, but what's actually happened is, you know, they've actually, they formed another plant in the middle. So if you look down the bottom here, have a look now, right? And this is how they start forming, okay? Look at that, that this is amazing, isn't it? Hedra, Hedra helix, probably, that, that one's called Oreo Duc de Bodriasco, which is a, a very fast growing ivy, but it's amazing how that's grown underneath there. You can cover an ugly spot, but look at this. You can see here now, when we're pulling all this dead leaf out now, start removing it, and the ground will aerate, make that plant better. But you can see, if you get right the way in here, Kyle, come right the way in, you can see how that plant is formed, okay? The roots have come off, off this other plant, and there we are, look. There's another plant growing there, so there's no definition between the two plant specimens. If you go back, and just, if I can explain that. So what's happened is when this new plant has grown, between that plant there, which is the original specimen, the plant over here, this is how this plant is grown, and it just looks like a, like a hedge. So if you want it as a hedge, that's fine, but we want it to, there we are, look how easy that was to come out. Look, look at that. That's how it grows. So that's basically out there. We're removing that. There's another one there. 
can take that one out. And there's another one there. Now, we don't want this plant to grow like a hedge. So by removing this now, there's some more in there. Look at that now. You get some space. And what's good for these plants is absolutely fantastic aeration. Look how that's coming off so easy. This is a wonderful plant to actually work on because the ease, the leaves come out. Not always. Sometimes you have to get your, your, your cutters and just get down and actually cut those at a 45. But look how easy that is to come off. The plant is going to be a lot more healthier when you start removing that. Look, there's another one there. Look at this now. Come right way in. You can see here. See how that's grown. And the reason we know that that's new because it's easy pulled out. Look at that. Let's just pull that one out. And all the dead leaves are coming with it. Look at that. There are, look, and another one. Now, if we look back, we're nowhere near at that stage of actually even completing the pruning and the maintenance of this plant. But you can see the gap, the form between that. Now you start to get sort of good aeration between the plant and you can actually, we stand back. And if you look there, now you can start seeing the different specimen plants and it looks more of a feature rather than just a hedge. Look, it's, it's a fantastic architectural plant. It's an evergreen plant. There's many varieties in formiums. You get the one popular one is the formium uh, Mari Queen, which is a little bit more purpley. You can see some of the purple stripes in, in this one. And it's a cracking plant it's, and it's fantastic. It'll cover an ugly spot. That's why they planted on this, in this bank, on this development, okay? It covers an area quite quick, okay? It's an evergreen plant, but you need to look after it. You need to maintain it because a plant like this, bought in a garden center is going to set you back quite a bit so you know value what you got and look after it good but you can see where it's all decayed at so you've got to get right way down come and have a look right inside here okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to come from this side get right down see if we can get right down for our viewers to have a look there it is there that's that one that's diseased get down and cut it out of 45 there we are that's that one taken out and that was quite a long one you see so you're reducing the height see where it's decayed on there so you've got to get away those diseased those diseased leaves and those crossing leaves again here look at the tips of this one that's there so we need to remove that so anything brown and it's not looking good you need to get rid of and what you'll find what you'll find sometimes even though i've pulled all the dead leaves out here most of them but there's still one there if you look at this one there now look at this look this one here this one look i see i'm trying to pull that and it's not coming off so i'm gonna to have to cut nice and neat right there and get that out pull those leaves out you just have to keep standing back going back and looking at it look at that one there the brown there just get rid of all the brown all the dead stuff it doesn't look good at all okay remember this is a tough plant it's evergreen and evergreens grow well in most soils that's why they planted it here okay if you've got if you look if you just come in here just get right in here and have a look now you can see where this has been cut before you can see it's all brown so we need to reduce those in height there get rid of those because that's just disease take that out get get them out completely and then it will expose now all this dead stuff here that's coming out not so bad you ain't gonna be able to get it all out right in the middle but you need to reduce as much as you can okay there's another brown one there all the brown bits look again here there's a collection of them here some of those if you follow them down they may they may pull off or they may not just like that so you've got to follow them down and then cut them just get rid of them they don't look good they're unsightly and it's no good for the plant the plant needs to breathe inside it needs to be aerated when you get that good aeration then the plant will will survive so there we are getting that look at that 
that's what you don't want in it. There's another one there, look at that one now. Look at that leaf there, it comes up, it's gone all rusty brown, all the way up, that's no good. And that's showing at the top, that's quite a long leaf. Okay, let's have a look, you know. Go there, at a 45, take it out, gone again. Stand back, look at your plant, and you can see, you see where the customer, or some of these before, it's cut off, that doesn't look good at all. It's got all brown, that's what happens when they cut it at, a, at an angle like that, at the top. It just doesn't look good at all. Right, what I'm doing here now is I'm trying to find a, a suitable height. We've removed some, but what can happen is that you could probably thin the plant out too thin. But then again, you see, it's never been maintained. So we have to be probably a little bit mercenary in the, in the first place. So what I intend to do, some of these longer ones, like that, that's still pretty bad. But what you'll find, if you come over here, I'll be able to show you what's happening here amongst the plant. If you look here now, you can actually see the new growth that's coming through. So there is new growth coming through. So you'll have the new ones. There's one there, there's one here, there's another one there. So they will soon start shooting up. So unfortunately, because it, it hasn't been maintained, it may not necessarily look the best when we finish today, but it'll look a lot better in some respects to what it was before. So we're going to go through, work down, and then work back and keep looking for the odd brown leaf and the ones that have been scarred and start removing them and try and find the, the, the more acquired height. Well, here we are. Um, it's looking a lot better, but there's still a few more that we have to take off. But on this project now, we've got some sleeper, sleeper wall to do, so we're going to get on with that now. And then as the next couple of days go on, we're going to come back and select a few more where we notice there's some brown ones. But I just want to check with the client first to make sure that we're at the right height. Well, there you are, day over. We're happy so far. It may be the case that the client wants to take a few more off, but you can see the difference in at the start to where we are now, and uh, I'm happy. So there you are. So if you need any advice and uh, you need some help with anything, just give us a call on 01633 896 007 or go to the website, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk. I'm going to get this rain now. See you soon.